Hey everyone, this is our Shopify upgrades series where we recreate features of successful e-commerce brands. And we've got another great one today. So we're taking a look at hollow socks and we can see that they have a timer for when their fall sale is going to end. Using these countdown timers is a great way to drive home the urgency in your promotions. So urgency is one of the major components in Alex Hermosi's $100 million offers. And this is how we can apply it into e-commerce stores. So this countdown timer isn't a default Shopify feature, but with this customization, you can easily add it to your store. I just want to take a quick moment here to talk about our new school community, the Prompted Insiders. And in here, you'll find instructions and code for this customization, along with a whole suite of other exclusive member-only customizations, tools, automations, and theme files. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff in there. And you'll also be getting our marketing strategies and Facebook ad account structures. And on top of all that, you'll get personalized support from us to help your brand grow. Uh, this is a new community, but as an early member, you'll get more access to us and your questions can help shape the direction of the content we make. So check it out, link is in the description. But all right, let's take a look at the countdown timer. Okay, so we're looking at our demo store and you can see here we have our countdown timer right at the top. Um, it's actually made sticky, so we can scroll through and it's going to stay at the top. Um, but we can adjust that with the settings. Um, so we can actually change the text. We can change when the, uh, the deadline is. Um, we, so currently it's going to be at midnight today as I'm filming it. So it's just another nine hours. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's going to maintain no matter where you are on the store. Right? So if you come to a different part of the store, it's going to keep counting down. Uh, you go to a uh, product, so let's say, let's go to our original t-shirt. It's going to stay there right at the top. Um, so that's our countdown timer. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the settings you have because we can actually change some of these to uh, make it your own. So first off, uh, if we go into the theme editor, you can see here that if you add a section, uh, we'll be able to add a countdown uh, announcement bar. Now, it's not going to show up for you right away. That's why we have these instructions on how to add it to your store. Uh, but once you do, then we will have these settings here. And so if you are looking at this, you're probably going to recognize a lot of these settings because they're going to be similar to the default announcement bar that you see here. And so we've actually just added additional functionality to the announcement bar. Um, two main things. One is to add the ability to make it sticky. And the second is to actually add the countdown timer. Um, now the countdown timer only works if you have one uh, message block, right? So once we add another announcement here, it's going to just default to the original, um, original announcement bar logic. So it'll behave like normal, um, but if you want to use the announcement bar, uh, sorry, if you want to use the timer, then you have to actually only have a single block here and then, and then it will show up so long as you enable it with the setting here. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the things that we can do with our announcement bar. So first we can actually change the color, right? And so this is like your normal announcement bar, but you can change the color and the uh, the timer will look like that as well. You'll notice one thing here is that the, uh, the preview on the theme editor isn't showing the numbers all that well. So because it's sort of uh, an active live changing uh, feature, it doesn't really show on the preview all that well. Uh, so once we save it, it's gonna show up. Um, and uh, for sure on the website, it's gonna show up. So whenever we refresh it, it's gonna, it's gonna show up there. But just on the live preview, we're gonna see that sometimes those numbers don't show up. But don't worry about that. It doesn't affect your actual site. Okay, so let's go back to our scheme four and let's uh, look at some of these features, right? So we talked about enabling the sticky announcement bar. Um, this sticky uh, feature is going to work regardless on whether you're using the timer or not. So if you just want to use a regular announcement bar without the timer, but make it sticky, then this actually works for, the, for uh, you as well. Uh, next, we have 
some options here. So um, we can turn on or off the countdown timer. It's just a master switch. Uh, next is the meta object handle that uh, we are setting. And so this is going to specify what date we're going to count down to. And so if we actually go to our uh, meta object here, we've called this one the fall sale 2024, and it's going to uh, expire on September 25th at 12 a.m. Um, we could change it to a further date. So let's say we make it 26th. Let's save that. And then let's, uh, let's just save this. And you can see here now it's one day and nine hours, right? Because we've made it one day later. Um, and we could actually make it in the past as well. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to show you what happens if the timer has um, expired, right? So let's say the one day and nine hours has passed and it's going to, I mean, the timer is going to go to zero, but we also want to show some new message because it's been expired. And so um, let's just refresh. And you can see now it shows offer. Offer has ended. And that's because we set our timer to be September 24th, which uh, for me is in the past now. Um, so that's what this text is going to be for. Um, and then once the, you know, this is to immediately make the change so that you don't have to uh, be there right when it expires to change the text. Uh, but then, you know, when you're ready, you can actually go ahead and change the actual uh, text in here to be what you want um, and then just have the announcement as normal. Um, so let's change this back to the 25th. Okay. Um, next, we have the option to show colons between the timer numbers. So let's just refresh so that we can get our timer back. And these colons in between the numbers, we can actually remove those if we don't like that format. So let's do that right now. We can hide those, we'll save. And you can see here that the colons have been removed. Um, personally, I like to have them in there, so I'm just gonna put those back. Uh, next, we have the option to place the timer either underneath the message, which is what we have now, or we could put it beside the announcement, right? Just like that. So if we save, we're gonna see here that we now have it across, right? We have some message and then our timer showing up across. Okay, so next we have some font adjustments. So we can, uh, let's just refresh this page here. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually show a comparison. So let's say I wanna make this text smaller. I wanna make the numbers larger and the labels even smaller. So if I save that, um, then it's gonna look like this, but you can actually see a comparison here. So if I duplicate this tab, let's refresh this. You can see here, right? We've adjusted those fonts so you can um, change the size of the text and the numbers however you like to make it look the way you want. And then finally, we can adjust the label of the um, that goes underneath the numbers, right? So first we can change everything to uppercase. So if we just check that box, then all of these become uppercase, right? So let's just save that. And you can see here now everything is uppercase. Um, but we can also change this, the, the label text, right? So right now I have it as short form, but if you wanted to you know, type it all out, so it's hours, minutes, seconds, or even if your store is in a different language, then you can uh, change that to however you like. Uh, personally, I like using the short form, so I'm just going to change that back. But you can see here how it's changing up top here. Um, and those are pretty much the settings. Now let's take a look at how we can add the countdown timer to your store. So we're in our Shopify admin area and we've just installed a fresh new version of Dawn. Uh, it's Dawn version 15.1.0 and uh, all we've done is renamed it. 
So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create meta object and we're going to need to copy and paste some code into this theme. Now the uh, all the instructions and the copy and paste code, you'll be able to find it in our school community, the Profit Insiders, uh, but I'll guide you through the actual steps that we, you would need to take here. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the meta object. Now the meta object here is uh, how we set the dates so you can see here we've got a black friday sale and you know it'll count down until when the black friday starts and we'll just take this handle and put in the theme editor uh, and then we can create however many we want to count down to so um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings custom data and in the under meta object definitions you can add a definition and we can just set this up. Now, we've already created the meta object here, so I'll just show you uh, the, the different settings here. So the first one is countdown, uh, the, the name of the countdown meta object, and we're going to call it countdown date time, right? And so make sure the type is countdown underscore date underscore time. Uh, we're going to be using that in our code to look up this meta object, so it has to match there. And then we're going to have two fields. The first one is name, and this is going to be a single line text, one value. And the second one is going to be called date time, one word, uh, and it's gonna be a type date and time, and it's gonna be one value as well. And then once you've done that, you can save, and we can come back out to our uh, content meta objects area, and we can add an entry, and you can call it whatever you want, right? Let's say we wanna go into a Halloween sale that ends uh, once Halloween's over. So maybe November 1st at 12 a.m. And then you can save that and then we can use that uh, in our theme. So um, now let's head back here and we can actually edit code. Now, before editing code, if you are not using a fresh version, uh, a fresh theme, then make sure to duplicate if anything goes wrong, then you can always revert back to your previous version. So uh, let's edit code. And um, before we make any changes to our theme code, we can head into the theme editor and we can look at um, trying to add a section. You can see here that the, the countdown announcement bar is not showing up, right? This is a fresh version. And what we're going to do is we're going to add it in now. So we'll go into the sections folder, add a new section, and we're going to call this announcement bar countdown dot liquid. And then we're going to just remove the existing code in there and copy and paste our code in there. Okay, so once we've done that, you can actually just go back to the theme editor, refresh. And now, if we add section, you can see we've got this new countdown uh, announcement section. And there we go, we've added our new section. We can drag this up and we have all the settings here to adjust it however we like. So let's say we want to turn on our countdown timer. Let's turn that on. And then we can use our new uh, Halloween sale uh, countdown. So we'll just paste that in there, the handle. We can save. And there we go. We've got our countdown to Halloween counting right on our store. We can uh, view our store and you can see it right there. If we come back to our theme editor, um, we can adjust the rest of these settings to make it your own, right? So we can change this to say uh, Halloween sale. 50% off, something like that. Um, and we can adjust the size, the you know the way that the countdown shows up. We already talked about this earlier in this video, so we don't need to go over all of that again. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's our countdown timer. There's lots of settings for you to make it your own. And if you want to add this customization or any of the other customizations that we share on this channel, then we share all the code and instructions in our school community, the Prompted Insiders. Uh, you'll get a whole suite of exclusive customizations, tools, automations, and marketing strategies, uh, and personalized support from us to help your brand grow. So check it out. Link is in the description. But that's it for today. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.